What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. And today, I just wanted to show you guys what's in my music collection. And here in my space is my listening, reading uh, collection, my reading setup. I got my books here, vinyl records here, and my CDs. Yeah, I even still have CDs, man. You know, to be honest, I've always been a CD person. I've always been a CD guy. I really, really love CDs because I, for a while, I thought they were portable and, you know, all the cars I've driven in or that I've had or I've been, you know, riding in, they've always had a CD slot. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, I spend a lot of my time on the road and, and yeah, man, just playing CDs has been super helpful, you know, through all those commutes. And I like having a booklet and liner notes. I, I, I always found it so cool that uh, if I'm not driving, if I'm just hanging out somewhere or if I'm taking the bus or the metro going somewhere, uh, I could have the booklet of the liner notes and I could read that. And I always thought that was super cool. And yeah, man, so I, I've, I've always been a seedy person. And so we're going to get into the vinyl collection later, but I want to start off with the CDs, and here's something that's super OG. This is like from like 2000, I want to say 2003 if the date on here tells me otherwise. But from the early 2000s is my first CD player. Oh, that's going crazy, right? This is a Sony Walkman and uh, with G protection. I need to look up what G protection is, but maybe that's like if you drop it or something. <laughs> I don't know. But my Sony Walkman, son. You know what I'm saying? This giant has held me down. I, I put the Rivers Wild sticker on it. Shout out to Wale. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and yeah, man, that's how that giant open up. Here, I'll see if I can get in close. But as you can see, there's the open button. You got your volume buttons. You got, you could have a repeat, uh, a play mode where it's like a loop. You could have a song on repeat. You can have the album repeat. And you can e you even have a bass booster where you can actually adjust how much of the bass you want. And you also have your stop, your play pause, your fast forward and rewind buttons. Yo, that's so, this joint is so crazy, man. Like, and then, yeah, it runs on, uh, let me see how many batteries. Yeah, it runs on two AA batteries. Man, this, this has been with me for so much of my life. It still works to this day. CD players, man. I, yo, this has been with me, man. So I keep that right here next to my record player. And I guess I'll, I'll start off with the CDs, man. So... I'll, I'll pull, let's see, I might pull one out today. And I used to have a bunch of CDs. Um, I'll start with this one. This one is, has been pretty cool. So uh, here in the, in the DMV area, uh, in Friendship Heights, in the, what used to be the Friendship Heights Mall, RIP, I think that giant closing down and they're going to turn it into like homes or something or apartments, like residential stuff. It's pretty crazy, right? And so back in high school, around like 2010, 2011, there was a FYE store there, I believe. And uh, I think when I went there, I think the store was closing. It was going out of business. Yeah, it was around 2011 because that's when I got heavy into rock music, like really, really passionate about rock music, uh, but also funk music. And I found this, because I, I became a Sly and the Family Stone fan, but I found this CD there, and I've never seen it anywhere else. And it's the Sly and Family Stone Woodstock Experience. So it's the recordings during their Woodstock set. And and I always thought that the uh, the color, the cover art was so awesome. 
um, like this kind of like orange, faded orange, and then with the iconic Woodstock uh, logo on the on the uh, cover. I always thought that was so cool. Um, so what I learned is that this came as part of like a collection, and there was a Santana one, and oh, there's a Jimi Hendrix one. There's a Jimi Hendrix one. And then they all had different colors as well. So like the Santana one was red, and I forget the color, the Jimi Hendrix one. But um, yeah, there's this was so cool to find. And it came, uh, and it came with, it was a double disc. And one is the actual Woodstock experience, you know, that iconic, this may have been, I wonder if this was during the, uh, I want to take it higher performance where he just, want to take you higher, higher, you know what I'm saying? So August, Sunday, August 17th, 1969, my lady, sing a simple song. You can make it if you try. Everyday people, dance to the music, the medley of music lover higher. I want to take you higher, love city and stand. That's pretty crazy. And it also comes with the Stand album. That's pretty cool, right? And then what I also loved was CDs, CD manufacturers, uh, I guess artists, when they started making their CDs, they kind of went into like a retro, like they started making vinyl type um, sleeve cuts for the CDs. And I thought that was so cool where it's like, wow, okay, you're kind of fusing the CD with the vinyl uh, style, you know, packaging. And then like the liner notes are on, are on the slip, the inner slip. And I think what was just so cool about the Woodstock version or the Woodstock recordings was just the way they did their arrangements there. Um, with you can make it if you try, uh, listen to, yo, they slow it down at the end. And then they, they go into like a six, eight, you know, uh, shuffle, like just like really slow down groove. And it's so funky. It's so, man, it's just so rugged and raw and it's so tight. And, you know, the legendary, I want to take a higher set that they document on the Woodstock documentary, the Woodstock movie, man, like that's probably one of the most electrifying performances I've ever seen a video of. Obviously I wasn't there. I wasn't alive at that time, but to see it, I mean, I saw it on either YouTube or, or uh, I actually saw the documentary too. So just to see it, um, to see that performance, probably, I wonder if like in musical history, that gotta be like up there, man. So finding this at that mall at that time was just so rare for me. And it, it just, I just, I just lucked out because that mall is closed now. Uh, the Friendship Heights Mall, uh, FYE going out of, it, it started going out of business. So man, that's going to be a whole other episode. Rest in peace at FYE, son. Cause the one in Wheaton Mall, man. Okay. That's going to be a whole other episode, <laughs> but I wanted to show this. So this has definitely been one of my prized possessions. Uh, Sly and the Family Stone Woodstock experience. So we'll get into the record collection in, in the next episode. And I'll just highlight more CDs. I'll pick out more CDs later on throughout the show. And uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed that. And yeah, thank you so much for supporting, man. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. What's up, y'all? It's me, Cody, as always. I hope you all enjoyed that episode. If you'd like to support, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share it with your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to listen to my music, I have my newest album, Everyone Needs It. Mm. Available now for listening, and you can buy it off of iTunes or Bandcamp. I'll put the links in the description box below so you can check it out. See you all in the next one. Peace.